I have traveled 250 kilometers from Sydney to this quaint little country town of Manildra because tonight I have something very special for you. You see, tonight we're hunting meteors. It is the 24th of December and tonight the Geminids meteor shower, my favorite meteor shower of the year, comes to its peak. It will be rising over here in the east at 11 p.m., peaking at 3 a.m. where the moon is and setting in the west over my shoulder here just after sunrise. Hello again internet, my name is Astro with Roro and tonight let's hope we win the astronomical lottery and get as many meteors as we can in this beautifully clear sky. Unfortunately we are contending with an 80% moon here as you can see but I'm not going to let that worry me too much. I have set up my tent just over here and I'm going to be viewing the whole meteor shower here tonight. So come along with me as I take a wide angle video from this camera right here and show you what tonight is all about. I will also be taking some narrow field images with the Red Cat 51 here, the QHY268M and the Rainbow Astro RST135E. So hopefully together we can get some great images. Now sit back, relax and enjoy this video as together we watch the Gemini's Meteor Shower. Well, it's just after 3 a.m. and the Gemini's Meteor Shower is about to approach its peak meteors per hour. I have been taking a little bit of a nap and it's time to now sit back, watch the skies and see what happens. So I'm going to put you back on the tripod but increase the rate at which the camera takes images so that you can watch this in a bit more slow motion and see what it's like for me when I'm here. So I hope you enjoy the show and I'll see you in the morning. Well, last night, once the moon set, the sky just got spectacularly dark and there were a huge amount of meteors that I was able to watch last night. I got up at around 3 and watched for about an hour and a half as the meteor shower just continued to grow and grow. And at one stage, I was counting about 110 to 115 meteors per hour over the entire sky, which I was not expecting. Unfortunately though, I did have some issues with my main rig. I made the mistake of not quadruple checking a new computer that I had set up. I have a new little Intel NUC sort of uh, computer and this allows me to wirelessly connect to it. Unfortunately, it didn't automatically set up the Wi-Fi hotspot for me to connect to and without this, I was unable to take photos using my Red Cat. Fortunately though, I am heading into another town today called Parks, which some of you may know from the movie The Dish, and there is a computer store there, so I'm going to see if I can go and speak to these computer guys and get access to a monitor, keyboard and mouse for half an hour and see if I can fix this, because I believe it's a pretty simple problem to fix, but hopefully I can, because I have another week on the road and I really want to do some more deep space imaging while I'm out there. I hope you found this video interesting or entertaining. If you did, consider subscribing. I'll catch you in the next one. My name is Rowan, this is Astro with Roro, and clear skies.